Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. I don't know why, but it's taken me a little bit to get this game started because I've had some issues with the game and everything, and for a minute I thought my thing was freezing up, but I'll put subtitles on. Everything else is perfect. Gotta start a new game because for some reason this did not work properly for me, so I'm hoping with all due respect that this let's play will start off the way I want it to this time. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the game. Fuel lines, check. Horizontal stabilizers, check. Ion thrusters. Looks like we had a tailwind. If we time it right, we can ride the slipstream of the grav train past the sea grid traffic. Ahem. Launch the mag grappler onto that pedway overpass and slingshot right up to Ratchet. the thrusters are fine, Clank. See? Don't worry, it's probably just a fused ion duct. Incoming message from Captain Quark. Ratchet? Clank, I've uh, got a bit of a situation here at the Planetary Defense Center. Uh, nothing I can't handle, mind you, just a few thousand. Heavily armed robotic commandos, but I figured, hey, if you were in the neighborhood, maybe. <laughs> Wait, I knew I had something to hide. Hmm. Heavily armed robotic commandos? When aren't they heavily armed? Are you sure this is functioning properly? You worry too much. Planetary Defense Center, here we go. <laughs> Try out my new nav unit. And with that, we get to start playing. So yeah, this is Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. If you're looking to combat a massive, deadly space armada, the Gadgetron help desk will be happy to assist. Well, thank you, but you clearly didn't say what that that actually spelled out, you know. Now we get two weapons starting off the beginning. We have the Combustor V1, which is your typical machine gun type weapon, and then we have our... Okay, it's being very finicky. The Fusion Grenade V1, which is your typical grenade launcher. Uh, you can hold down... Right, square is to use your wrench. You can jump with X and push, uh, push square to do ground pound. Uh, R2 and X will create high and long jumps. Uh, you can press X twice to double jump. Triangle does your weapon switching. Circle can fire a weapon, same with R1, R2 is to to crouch, uh, I mean R2, yeah, R2 is to crouch, L2 is to strafe, and L1 is to go into first person mode, and it's not very good, so you probably won't be using it. So anyways, let's get on with it. The more you use weapons, the more they upgrade. Same as it was in like other Ratchet & Clank games if you've ever played. Oh hey, police bots are here, and I'm killing them too. Oh. Oh man, I did not mean to take any damage there. That was just bad on my part. I apologize. I am a really good Russian client player most of the time. Like, I beat, um... Deadlocked on the hardest difficulty. That will be playing that at some point. I wanted to do this game first, you know? Anyways, let's go over here to collect all these boxes. Uh, Nanotech will heal you. Those are like little swirly orb type things. The boxes with that are, look metallic with like circles on them. Those are your ammo uh, crates. They will drop you ammo. Yeah, these these are your nanotech health. Uh, I guess I don't know health regeneration orbs of awesomeness. Oh yeah, box physics are fucked up in this game too. Pardon the f bomb, but they like to f just hover and float and fall down and do whatever they please, pretty much. Also, it's nice of us to kill the innocent robot companions of this city. Like, ah, you guys enjoying the view? Die! Because we're evil like that. I believe you'll have close to 10,000 bolts if you collect everything. Bolts are used as currency in this game. 
well, in any Ratchet Clank game, to be more particular. Okay, you're dropping those guys. Let's, let's bomb them. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Easy peasy, lemonoid squeezy. Yeah, you're going to meet some awesome new characters in this game. You guys are going to have a blast with this LP. This LP will be one of the best in a long time. Well, this channel's only been around since, what, January? So it hasn't been around very long. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, giant tank. I know like you, giant tanky. Oh, hey there, sir. Oh, I guess I can't lock on that far away. Your weapons do upgrade and get new perks, so sometimes your weapon will be able to hit from further away, or it will do increased damage, or things like that, so... I highly recommend you use all your weapons fairly evenly so you can upgrade them. Oh god, blasters to atomize? That sounds terrifying. Yahoo! I'm escaping on the meteor pads, man. Oh, hey there. This is a perfect spot to test out our other weapon. If it actually wants to work. No, it doesn't want to work half the time. It goes down easier. Maybe it's just my analog stick on my controller. It is starting to go after all. Wow, infinite ammo. I, I don't mind infinite ammo. <laughs> oh yeah, all this money is mine. Oh hey, little fish people. I know how to use them. I am just collecting everything that need be. So yeah, this, you just jump left to right, jump up and down, you can attack if there are enemies on the rail. Otherwise, you just jump over all the obstacles, like such. Man, this game is so beautiful, and I'm recording it in uh, HD, so hopefully you guys can see the uh, the quality, and hope you guys appreciate the quality. I know this game isn't super retro, and I probably won't play the uh, sequels for a while, at least not the last one, but yeah, so tell me what you guys think of this LP if you guys like it. For those currently watching the video, comment Ratchet in the comment section below. That'll help me know if, if you guys are actually watching the content or just saying you're watching the content. Because I do get a lot of comments saying that you do watch it, but, like, good video, but you guys don't actually watch it. So, yeah. Just asking you guys to be loyal fans still, you know? That's not too much to ask of you guys. At least I don't think it is. I do it when people ask me to. If I like a video, I like the video. Oh, we got a new enemy. We got like a hovering tank. It's weird, the game is normally supposed to tell us that we can go into this mode. Oh, apparently there's little cops there, but... It's supposed to tell us that we can go into like the aiming mode, but it didn't tell us for some reason. Not 100% sure why it didn't. Oh, there's another one. Hey there, buddy. I like to go pew pew. And he is D-E-A-D. Well, let's hit the meteor pad. Ah, <laughs> like I was like, yee-haw! Oh, hey, grab train. How you doing up there, man? Something just crashed into the wall. Oh, man. These little cop guys always catch me off guard. They're like the only things that have actually hit me. Or have ever hit me in the beginning of the game. Point, point, point. Oh, looks like this is a grab. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's just a bridge. I thought maybe it was like a grab train or something. Do these actually give me bolts? No, they don't. I guess I don't think they do. Let's see. Eh. No, they don't actually give you anything. It's just for decoration. Eh, no need to break it then. Oh, you're destroying the bridge. That's lovely. Well, then I'll just destroy you with my fusion grenade. I know it is, man. That's why I'm running away. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Oh, lots of little cop bots. Oh, I'm so sorry. Am I killing all of you guys? Oh. Whoa. So many of them. It's absolutely intense in here. Oh my lordy dordy. 
Don't know why we need so many of you. There we go, you're toast. Now let's just go in here and collect all of the goodies, because there are a lot of bolts. Yeah, we're definitely over 10,000. Don't know what the first new weapon actually costs, because, yeah, the vendors will have weapons, just like any Ratchet & Clank game, pretty much. Every Ratchet & Clank game has been the same since Ratchet & Clank 2, where weapons could upgrade. That's pretty much when the game pretty much became a staple. Or, like, the build of the game became a staple. Good Ratchet don't have a cool badass look if they're destroying the city, man. They're after you. At least, well, at least we think they're after us. I'm not quite sure, though. Like, look at this, guys. It's so beautiful. I'm a daredevil. Oh, my God, a train! Boom, boom. Oh, I guess there's only one place to go. Hey, so many commandos. You guys are very tough to kill, though. I'm not gonna lie, you guys are kind of a bunch of weaklings. You know what? I'm just gonna use this on them because we can't hit them any other way because they're gonna just lock on. Because we can't face them. Three. Jump! Geronimo! Oh. There we go, that is beautiful. Got our fusion grenades back as well. Bounce! Oh, another tank guy. They're decimating the city. Ratchet, the planetary defense center is 200 cubits below us. How do you propose we get down? I don't know. I'm kind of winging it right now. Uh oh. Woo! Woo! Don't fall down the hole. I've done that before. I've actually fallen down the hole. Pretty sure every now and then people do, but. When I first played, I accidentally, like, long jumped into the hole. Oh yeah, this is a good way to upgrade our weapon. Woohoo! There we go! V2! Yeah! Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that. Oh, six axis wireless controller to steer through traffic. Yeah, this is one of the only games that I know that actually uses the six axis controller's controls to actually fly through stuff. And oh, look at all that shrapnel from the ship. Well, ship, bridge, enemies. Did that vehicle literally just bump me in the butt? Not much I could do about that. Looks pretty quiet. Where's Quark? Greetings, citizen. I'm away from my post at the Planetary Defense Center. Please enter the number that best describes your emergency. If you are being attacked by radioactive amoeboids, please press 1. If you have been ingested by a mutant space eel, please press 2. If your city is being attacked by a massive deadly space armada, please press 3. Target. You think? Well, clearly they're locking onto us. Hey, I jumped, game! You guys can't get me. I outsmart you. Oh, goddammit. More grab trains. Yeah! Man, those trains don't look any more advanced than the trains we have nowadays. They honestly don't. Room, room. I can see that. Now, why is it called a grind rail? Shouldn't it be called like a hover rail or uh, something else? Hey, we got a bolt. Oh, the emperor. Who's the emperor? Man, if they wanted to kill us, couldn't it just fire everything at once? Seems a little lackluster if you can't fire all three. Did we outbeat him? No, I don't think so. We can avoid all the burnination. Ooh, we made it. I'm afraid. So weak. 
And you are? Emperor Percival Tachyon, Crown Prince of the Kragmites, conqueror of space and time, and, pending the obliteration of a few insubordinate species, ruler of the universe! Your name's Percival? <laughs> Emperor! See the crown? See the scepter? The giant walking throne? A legion of royal robotic commandos? Emperor! Not that a treacherous furball like you could... What's this? <laughs> such a primitive robot companion. And your kind used to be such renowned engineers. <laughs> oh, I'd be careful if I were you. He's got posimorphic plaster cannons in his fingertip. <clears throat> My gripe is not with the people of this arcade planet, but with you. Surrender your death bot. And simply allow us to kill you. No one else need be harmed. Fair enough. Here you go! <clears throat> That escalated quickly. Autopilot engaged. Whoa! Hang on, Clank! Hyperspace boosters online. Engaging cryosleep. Cryosleep? I don't know. There's no way I'm gonna... It is fortunate cryosleep does not work on robots. <laughs> for a minute. I am fine. Where are we? Beats me. Ship must have run out of fuel while on autopilot. Well, come on. We need to find another ship and get back to Kerwan. Oh man, this planet is beautiful. So that does it for the first episode of this cinematically beautiful game. This game is absolutely gorgeous. If you guys enjoy this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos I upload daily. And I will see you guys next time. Peace!